Australia captain James Hall will have spoken at his relief at being cleared to play in the third and final test against the British and Irish Lions this Saturday. It comes after the International Rugby Board's appeal to clear him of stamping was turned down. This was the moment in question. Australia captain James Horwell, highlighted and wearing the number five jersey, appears to stamp on the head of Alan Wynne-Jones. Horwell was cited by the match referee after the first test, but was cleared to play. Then, in an unusual move, the International Rugby Board appealed the decision. At a hearing, the Wallaby skipper was made to wait 14 and a half hours to see if he would miss his country's most important game in a decade. I love what I do and it means a, a hell of a lot to me to, to represent my country and, and, and not only to represent it but the opportunity to lead it in what is probably arguably the, the biggest game in this country since the Rugby World Cup final in 2003. So uh, I'm very excited at that opportunity and you know, I'm, now we can, as I said before, focus on you know, the game. Whilst the incident doesn't look good, the judicial officer in charge of the appeal found no evidence that the stamp was deliberate and Hallwell has now been cleared twice for the same incident. Oh, look, the process is what it is. You know, it's, you know, I, I can't complain. It's been a very fair process both times. The, uh, as I said before, the hearings have been very, I found have been very fair and, uh, you know, it's, it's, the process is what it is. For Australia, everything seems to be going swimmingly. The Lions, though, have been left licking their wounds after the defeat at the weekend, the latest being the hammer blow of losing their leader, Sam Warburton, ruled out through injury. News today that the Wallabies will have their inspirational captain to lead them out has been a welcome boost. Certainly, from the group's perspective, they'll be uh, stoked to have James back. You know, He's right at the heart of what we do, and you've, you've seen what it means to him. And that, um, that flows on to the group, so it's good to have them, have them out there with us. The Aussies received a standing ovation when they arrived at Sydney Airport. From zero to hero in just a week, there's little doubt that the momentum is with Australia right now. The Lions, wounded by their one-point loss and a kick away from securing a historic series win, they need to pull themselves back together, both physically and mentally.